What's going on guys, how are we all doing today? It's Corey here, and today I'm going to be commentating over a Penta Chem Strike brought to you by Carnage Urbo, and he also got 225 kills in this game, which I find absolutely insane for domination. And I'll tell you what guys, I know a lot of people complain about these types of gameplays, but here on the Carnage Clan channel, you guys have done a great job of supporting us on these, and we really appreciate that. You know, we tried to stray away from these towards the beginning of Ghosts, but eventually the game gets more boring and more stale, and you just have to push the limits and go for the highest scoring gameplays possible, and try to get a ton of chems in one game like this. And Erbo did a great job in this game. Regardless of what you do think of support gameplays like this one, you can tell Erbo's a really good player getting five chem strikes in a game. You can't not be a good player if you're going to get a gameplay like this. Give him credit for this. Um, and again, we really appreciate the way you guys have supported us on these. Hopefully, you can continue to do that. And, uh, you know, we're trying to mix things up as much as we can. You guys, of course, also enjoy our unique gameplays. Um, and we will be bringing you some crazy stuff very soon. So be on the lookout for that, both in regards to support gameplays and some of the more unique stuff we're doing. You guys should be real excited. Anyway, um, again, appreciate all the support you give us on these gameplays. I I've said that enough to this point, I hope. Um, anyway... Uh, definitely check out Urbo again. Give him credit for this gameplay. He deserves some support for this. Um, check him out. At least see his, see what he's got. He's got some great content. Uh, so stop by his channel and let him know what you think. But anyway, guys, today I want to talk about a topic that's very important to me. And I've already done several takes on this commentary. Um, and I'm not going to lie. Like, I actually had some good commentaries going. And then I just messed up at one point because I couldn't quite get my point across. And this is a topic that's very important to me. Guys, when I do commentaries, I try to, you know, do commentaries that will help you guys in some way, give you advice, uh, give you a life lesson. And this is a topic that really, truly is very important to me. So if I mess up at any point throughout this commentary, please forgive me. But as corny as it may sound, I am truly going to try to, like, speak from the heart on this because, again, this topic means a lot to me. So today I'm going to be talking about productivity. And basically, over the past year or year and a half or so of my life, I've become a much more productive person. And I'll tell you what, guys, I love playing Call of Duty. You probably could already tell I play a good bit of Call of Duty because I'm a commentator for Carnage. I mean, that's a dead giveaway right there. I love me some COD, but over the past year or so, I haven't played nearly as much. On Ghosts, I only have like 8 days played. On Black Ops 2, I had like 20, so it's not even half. So... I've definitely stopped playing Call of Duty as much as I used to, and I never played a crazy amount, but looking back on it, maybe a little more than I should have. But then again, when you're young, when you're in high school and all that, and, and you have free time in middle school, you know, if you have free time where you have nothing else to do, why not just play Call of Duty to your heart's content? It's really fun. So, you know, if you guys are still playing like 20 days played on Ghosts, that's cool, because I personally just don't enjoy the game as much. That's also part of the reason why I haven't played it. Um, but yeah, like, I'm not trying to say anything against um, playing a lot of Call of Duty. Because, again, when you have free time on your hands when you're young, it's great to just be able to play to your heart's desire, you know? <laughs> just keep playing until you get bored. Um, but anyway, guys, I don't need to go off onto that tangent. I'll just get straight to the point. I have eight days played on Ghost, partially because I don't enjoy the game as much. But I couldn't see myself having more than 10 or 12 days played on Ghost, regardless of how much I enjoy it. Because I have really made a life change where I want to be productive every day. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that every single day of my life I do something productive, but I try to. I, I get close to it. You know, basically nowadays, when I wake up each morning, unless I have some type of predetermined obligations for the day, I just think to myself, how am I going to be productive today? And I think this is something that you guys should start doing. And you don't have to put any pressure on yourself. Doing this does not put any additional weight on my shoulders whatsoever. I've just formed good habits. Now, let me give you an example. When I say you don't have to put pressure on yourself, how about I just use as an example the fact that I go for a run nearly every day. Now, last year, I had to start running to train for soccer. And I'll tell you what, when you first start going for runs consistently, like if you haven't run in forever, going for that first couple of runs really sucks. It's hard to make yourself do it, and you really don't want to, and it's no fun. But just run a mile, just run two miles, three miles maybe. Who knows? However much, it really, it can only be a mile. Just run some amount and do it each day. And you'll get used to it, and eventually it won't even feel like a chore. And it doesn't have to be running, guys. It could be any number of things. It could be commentaries. Guys, I've done commentaries for over two years for fun. But I have to do them consistently. I have to do them sometimes when I'm not quite in the mood to do them. You know, and I keep up with it because it's great to get this practice in. It's great to be able to do YouTube. And really doing commentaries, the way that I've improved over the past year or two, 
Like, I, I've become such a better speaker, and that is a huge life skill. Also, guys, like, I've played soccer my whole life, and I never really learned to juggle. But over the past year or so, I've practiced juggling, like, much more than ever before, and I can juggle a soccer ball, like, 100 to 150 times. Also, I've always loved playing basketball, especially with friends, but I never really was a, a true basketball player, I guess you could say, but now I actually, you know, I'm a pretty good dribbler, I actually have a real jump shot, like... It makes you feel good about yourself to improve on these types of things. It really does. And I've always, you know, I've never had any self-esteem problems or anything. You know, I've always felt good about myself. But it's just such a great feeling when you've got that feeling of accomplishment for doing things that you aren't forced to do. You got you get all A's in school. I mean, that's a huge accomplishment because really you aren't forced to get A's. I mean, you have to put in the effort to get the A's, not, not just, you know, C's and D's just enough to pass. You know, getting C's and D's... There's no feeling of accomplishment there unless you truly are struggling in certain classes. There's no feeling of accomplishment for just passing. Guys, what I'm basically trying to tell you is you don't have to do anything crazy to be extraordinary. And I don't mean extraordinary as in be like Michael Jordan or anything. I just mean you can be really good. You can become really good at a lot of different things just by doing a little every day. And seriously, with the commentaries, like I want to be involved in public relations when I grow up. This is a skill that will live with me forever. And with soccer, like, I've played soccer my whole life. To be able to juggle a ball 100, 150 times by now, that is such a good feeling. And especially with running. Stamina has always been a strength of mine, but now I go running, as I said, almost every day, and I can run a mile in like five minutes, maybe 5.15. That is an amazing feeling. And I hope it doesn't sound like I'm bragging. I really hope it doesn't. Because what I'm just telling you guys is I feel so proud about all that. And guys, just do, a, even if you're just going to do 25 push-ups in a day and then do 26 the next day, whatever it is, just leave maybe 15, 20 minutes out of every day to improve at something and then build upon that and build upon that. It, it doesn't have to be much, but when you have free time and you have nothing else to do, don't fill all that time playing video games and serving the web. And again, don't put pressure on yourself. Just remember, oh, it has, it could even be five minutes. That's all that matters. Just make slow or, or slow easy strides simple steps and and you will get places you will make major improvements that'll make you feel real good about yourself so anyway guys i i didn't get my point quite across the way i wanted to but hopefully you get what i'm saying please please take it into consideration but anyway guys that does it for this video hopefully you'll subscribe to erbo hope you enjoyed the gameplay subscribe to carnage Clan for more beast call of duty content and that does it for this commentary so i'm out peace okay let's go uh can't nobody talk stuff like